Christmas is coming, and it's time for you to think about what you want to put on your list to Santa this year. But this joyous holiday isn't the only thing to look forward to in December. Some of us are counting down to the next Star Wars movie being released. And in celebration, I'm going to be talking about the best Star Wars games out there. So don't mail your Christmas list out just yet, because here's my list of five Star Wars games to ask Santa for. Let's... <laughs> Ugh. Number one, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. A perfect number one choice for myself, as this game was actually the first title I ever anticipated for Christmas. This 98 release was co-developed by LucasArts and Factor 5. It's a 3D action flying game putting you in the pilot seat of many of the starfighters in the Star Wars franchise. Taking place between A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back, you battle through different levels and familiar environments that many fans will recognize. You start off defending Moss Eisley from TIE Bombers on Tatooine, then find yourself six years after Return of the Jedi on the planet Mon Calamari, fighting what's left of the Empire. Even though this game has tons of content, what made it even more exciting was the unlockables. Yes, there were a ton of unlockable missions and starfighters. You could unlock a Naboo starfighter, a TIE Interceptor, and the legendary Millennium Falcon. You could even unlock the sound designer's personal 69 Buick Elettra as an easter egg. Yeah, imagine that thing flying around Kessel. My favorite was the levels though. You had three in total to unlock. The race through Beggar's Canyon in Luke's T-16, the Death Star Trench Run, and the Battle of Hoth were what you had to look forward to. Yeah, for all the new gamers, this is what we had before DLC. And it was fucking glorious. Number 2. Jedi Power Battles What makes a lot of the Star Wars games these days amazing is the expanded universe that they come with. Finally, the ability to explore characters, situations, and planets outside the cinematic universe. So here it is, the platforming hack and slash beat em up called Jedi Power Battles, developed and published in 2000 for Dreamcast, Playstation, and GBA by LucasArts. This game loosely follows the events of Phantom Menace, but also branches off into other parts of the universe. Choosing from five characters like Obi-Wan, Quite Gone Jin, Mace Windu, and the mysterious Plo Koon. Like the last entry, there were unlockable characters as well, like Queen Amidala and Darth Maul himself. But it wasn't primarily the characters that made this game, but the fact that you could upgrade them and make them more powerful throughout the storyline. Each character had their own set of skills and abilities, and as you progressed, you could unlock them. My favorite was Plo Koon because apparently he trained in the dark arts and has the force lightning ability. Now I did say it brings somewhat of an expanded universe to the table, but it still falls mostly within the episode 1 storyline. It does, though, explore other avenues of it. This is a definite must have on your Christmas list. <coughs> Where are we again? Oh yeah, number 3, Connect Star Wars. Okay, 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 I'm screwing with you. It's actually Force Unleashed, a third-person action hack-and-slash platformer developed by LucasArts and released in 2008 on multiple platforms. This game takes place between the events of Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, where you play as one of Darth Vader's apprentices called Starkiller. Vader sends you on missions to wipe out the remaining Jedi across the galaxy. Of course, as the storyline progresses, Starkiller begins to doubt his place in the Empire and eventually helps spark the rebellion. The game was an awesome hit, and you really do get a great feel for having immense force powers during segments where Starkiller has to destroy oncoming TIE fighters and even bringing down an entire Star Destroyer with his bare hands. Unfortunately, there was a terrible sequel that ruined the EU of Force Unleashed. But if you choose certain actions at the end, you eventually become Darth Vader's replacement and you are tasked with attacking Luke Skywalker himself. How it ends is quite frightening, as it leaves a huge what-if scenario. And if you can't find any enjoyment in this game, at least take a little enjoyment at the very beginning when you're playing as Darth Vader and you're throwing Wookiees all over the place. Their screams give me sustenance. Number 4. 
Episode 1 Racer. Yeah, well, say what you will about this 99 release, but this game has a lot going for it. I remember playing this game non-stop and renting it constantly until my parents eventually bought it for me on Christmas Day. Not entirely taking place during the exact period of time, but it does seem to be during Episode 1. If you're a fan of the EU and read the Episode 1 Anakin comic, you'll find out that Anakin's original pod racer belonged to Watto, but was destroyed in a wreck caused by Sebulba. During Episode 1 Racer, Anakin is racing the same pod racer from the movie, meaning the game's storyline wanders off into its own non-canon storyline. What made this game so memorable was the interesting depth that they went for each and every racer. Even racers that only had maybe 3 seconds of screen time, like Gascano. In addition to the interesting backstories, you were able to buy and upgrade parts on your pod to make it faster, maneuver better, and even have a better boost. On top of that, once you unlock Sebulba, you were able to cheat during a race with a fiery burst from the left engine's vent, causing damage to any other pods in typical Sebulba fashion. This attack is actually hinted as the same one that caused Anakin to crash Watto's pod before the events of Phantom Menace. On top of the variety of racers and upgrades, you're given a ton of different tracks on different planets, though some are just mirrored or reverse variants of the previous one. The best part about this Star Wars title though, it's its price. So don't feel bad about asking that fat son of a bitch for a copy. Finally, number 5, Shadows of the Empire. Now I stated previously that I love games that deal with the EU, and this 96 title developed by LucasArts is everything you need for that. Taking place during the events of Empire Strikes Back, you play as a swashbuckler and not Han Solo named Dash Rendar, who pilots the not Millennium Falcon called the Outrider. Now only issue that I have with Dash is his backstory, as during the game you don't get a feel for who he really is and just makes him come off as a Han Solo clone. If you read the comics or literature, you find out he's quite a Mary Sue character. Dash is tasked with nearly everything, and is thrust into the anti-hero role. You start off piloting a snow spear during the Battle of Hoth, where you get to trip Imperial AT-ATs with the harpoon and blast down AT-STs while defending the shield generator. Throughout the game, you get entangled in events that happened off-screen during Empire's timeline. You'll end up taking on villains such as IG-88 and Boba Fett in an attempt to rescue Han from Jabba the Hutt, or race through Mos Eisley to stop a swoop gang from killing Luke while he's at Obi-Wan's hut. And in the end, the main villain isn't the Empire, but instead a crime lord who commands the evil Black Sun syndicate known as Prince Shizor. Yeah, it's pronounced Shizor. Who knew, right? The game has a variety of levels and missions, some of them unique, but mostly you're graced with third person shooting levels and a flying levels with the periodic third person levels with a twist like the junkyard level where you have to jump from rail car to rail car. If this level didn't frustrate you as a child, then obviously you didn't play this game as a kid. This level is forever burned into my memory, and so is the frustration that came with it. But don't hesitate to make it a stocking stuffer this year. Ugh. It's over now. Anyways, that was my list of five Star Wars games to ask Santa for. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, give me a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next... <coughs> 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 oh.